What's going on everyone? Thanks for checking out my channel again. Today I have an awesome video for you guys. What I'm gonna discuss today is how to study and how to proceed with COVID-19. Nick, why is this important? Of course this is important because a lot of you will be dealing with remote school, hybrid learning, or some combination of online and in-person learning. The question I've been asked is, Nick, how do I best perform under these circumstances? And how do I best position myself for college when my high school is different than it was before? In this video, I'm gonna answer those questions and more. The subscribe button is right down below. Hit that real quick while I get into the video. So let's go. It's very important to recognize that school is now simply different than it was before. Grades have changed, and I'm gonna go over grading in a second, but school in general is different, right? Some students will be online, some students are gonna be in person. Most of you are gonna have a combination of those things. Some schools are getting shut down. What do we do? You know, parents and students are asking me, you know, how do I proceed? So the main thing I would say is, students wanna make sure they have their technology game correct, right? You wanna make sure you have the correct technology so that you can actually learn from online school. If you are proceeding with online school, I recommend a combination of laptop, iPad. You wanna have two devices. I know that might be financially stressful, but it's important to have two devices because if one goes down, one's not working, or you know whatever the case may be, then you have two to proceed with. Also, if you are connected on one device to a Zoom call, then you can use the other device to type take notes, whatever the case may be, and still pay attention to the call. Now, is that necessary? No, of course not. Does it help? I think it does. I personally use multiple screens when I'm doing my work, and I think that would be very helpful to any student that's really intent on actually learning this year. You even can have one computer with two screens where you have the Zoom call and then your notes on the other side. Now, that's assuming that your school is doing live Zoom classes or like live online classes. Now, besides that, what do I need? Well, it's really important that you have a stable internet connection. Now, a lot of people are investing in Wi-Fi boosters or access points. So basically you can extend your Wi-Fi, Wi-Fi extenders, so that a student in their room can have proper internet access and make sure that they're streaming their class and getting the, the, their work done. That can be very, very helpful. So you have uh, some sort of laptop device, maybe an extra screen, and then you have a Wi-Fi booster to make sure that you're fully connected and not missing out. Those are three things you can do technology-wise to really improve your chances of being successful with online school. Now, what else can you do? I think students need to focus on achieving an end goal, right? So if I'm taking an AP class, my end goal is to pass the AP class and get a five on the AP. If I'm taking some other class, my goal is to get my grades up to a place where they're acceptable. Now, a lot of schools may be offering pass-fail. The grading may be suspect so you need to make sure that you're on the top top end of the grading spectrum now because grading has been basically diminished in its importance i think test scores and testing may actually become more important for students going forward now i know you're going to say well nick aren't all schools going test optional yes they are because they have to right because you simply can't take the test right now but going forward if gpas aren't what they were before and it's really hard to differentiate between students because we all have high GPAs, then how are we necessarily going to evaluate them on a college level? That's just not possible. So colleges are probably going to look towards things like test scores, SAT subject tests, SAT, ACT, AP exams, state tests, so on and so forth to just test your competency, to see how competent you are. Because basically what I've heard is a lot of schools have basically done the best they can, but struggled with grading students in an accurate way. Now, of course, if I was a parent, and for all the parents watching this, I would not feel satisfied if my student got poor grades on online school. I, I would feel like they probably do better in person. So I think all of those opinions are understandable. Of course, schools deserve a lot of credit for a difficult situation. So I think overall, it makes sense that standardization helps students get into college more than ever. So I think colleges are going to reverse and look more towards standardization and standardized tests to evaluate students. Now, what does that mean? Well, that means you should probably take as many AP classes as you can because getting fours and fives and APs this upcoming year will be even more impressive than it ever was before. Now, beyond that, you can also take subject tests. So, you know, if you're anticipating a certain major, maybe you want to look at taking some subject tests in those areas, or you want to piggyback the AP exams with the subject tests that align with those exams. Like if you're taking history, maybe you wanna take history subject tests. If you're taking biology or chemistry, you might wanna take that subject test. Now, that's a great way to stand out a little bit more. Now, obviously a lot of people are going to do that, but I think if you can do it and successfully do it, then 
that will help bolster your application, especially if your GPA is in the same category as many other people because they're not giving out very low grades. Now, besides that, what else can you do? The unfortunate part about online school, at least what I'm seeing, is that it just doesn't cover enough material. There's not enough time in the day of online school to move students through the material they need to move. So say for example, you're doing five days a week of math under a normal circumstance. If you're doing online school, maybe they're streaming some, maybe there's some videos. It doesn't really add up to the same amount of instruction time, right? The students aren't getting the amount of instruction that they need. So what do we do? Well, there are a lot of supplemental services and free services that you can join up on, right? There's things like Khan Academy can be really helpful for math and science. There's services like mine that can help boost kids' performance and bring them up to speed on various subjects. And of course, there's many other free ways that you could do all this. So I would say that you line up your resources, maybe you buy some books, maybe you invest in some other materials where the student is ready and prepared to learn all of the material they need to learn. Because frankly, this information builds upon itself. One of the problems with math is that if you don't understand geometry and algebra, you're not going to be able to understand algebra two trig. It's just, it's just gonna be very difficult and I don't wanna see students go through that. So that's why it's important to catch up on that material and make sure you know it's so that when you do get to that class, you are prepared. So what's my summation for this video? I think the number one thing I, that you need to do is stay focused on the end goal, which is learning what you need to learn and keeping your grades up. A lot of students are getting unfocused they're focusing on all the negative aspects, the pandemic, the schools being shut down, the possibility of being sickened, so on and so forth. Look, I get it. Those things stress me out too. But at the end of the day, what you guys have to do is stay focused on the end goal of keeping your grades up and getting into college. And if you can do that, I think you'll all be successful. Definitely hit that subscribe button, guys. We're growing the channel. You guys are you know, really doing a great job of helping me out. So thanks for doing that. And, you know, comment down below. Let me know what you think school is going to be like this year. Let me know what materials you're going to use. I'm going to put a few links in the description of this video for cheap laptops, cheap screens, stuff that you can get to try to set yourself up better to succeed better on school this year. So thanks for tuning in. Good luck. Peace and love, baby.